All right, here with the victorious Layla McCarter. Uh, first of all, congrats, champ, tonight. Um, you just we were just talking. You said you've been inactive a little while, but it seemed like you were getting off every single time, every exchange first. Uh, how did you feel at you, your, your performance overall? You know, I'm happy we got the stoppage. It was great to get a TKO over somebody who's so tough. Um, but, you know, I'm disappointed in my performance and that I felt a little rusty and uh, just didn't have the, the mojo going, you know what I mean? And uh, I think that could be rust because I haven't fought since July last year. But, you know, we're hoping to come back early, maybe in June. And, uh, you know, then rust won't be a factor. We got it all out here tonight. And um, I'm, I'm just happy with the victory. One of my favorite things about you is your willingness to fight anybody. This is a girl, I believe, her last flight was in there with Carissa Shields, right? Yeah. So uh, obviously this is not quite your, you know, someone that you're used to dealing with your size, but you know, you've never been afraid of anyone in any size. Uh, what's it like for you? Do, you? do you take a different mindset when you go in there against someone as big as she is? No, I mean, every fight to me is just a fight, and I don't care how big they are. You know, the weight only matters if they hit you. So for me, fighting a middleweight, I don't care. Heavyweight, I don't care. Um, as long as I do my job right, I think I can beat anybody in the world. You, you landed flush shots the entire fight. Um, at the point when she quit in the seventh round, did you know that, that she was ready to... I mean, from where I was, it didn't seem like that particular punch was that clean. It was just, she was just overall work that she was done? I think that punch was just in the right spot. Maybe I hit her in the liver. I didn't see the punch or know that I got her. It didn't seem, like you said, a super significant punch, but I, I might have got her in the right spot, and she just, you know, she felt it, obviously. I, I think I hit her in the liver. All right, Luis, you've been with this, uh, this lady here for many, many years. Um, like, you know, she felt a little rusty, she said. Uh, as far as where she's at right now, she's at 39 wins now. Where do you where do you see her going forward, and what do you think about tonight? Well, you know, for me, Leila is the best female fighter in the world, and uh, we really would like to fight Cecilia Brackus, but Cecilia keeps running. She doesn't want to fight Leila, uh, so we might be able. To, we might have to take the the junior welterweight champion, or maybe move up and wait fight the super welterweight champion, or if Clarissa Shield. When it comes down to 154, we knock him out too. So whatever, you know. But Re Leila is ready to fight anybody. You know, we went to South Africa and fought for the junior middleweight title. Uh, and Leila got it knocked out in the eighth round. You know what I mean? So she's used to fight this big girl. You know, and uh, I, I think the skill pay the bill. Well, yeah, Leila, is that someone? Clarissa Shields, a big girl right there. But obviously, she's kind of the the, the new the new kid on the block, the one's getting all the attention. Is that? Is that something that, that you would look forward to? And, and, and furthermore, is that something that kind of aggravates you that, that, you know, here you are having to jump from, you know, whatever way to, to, to get some relevant fights? You know, I think it's a great thing that Clarissa is getting coverage. I mean, in the first place, it's, it's covering women's boxing, so it's all good. Um, of course, I wish I'd had more coverage in my career, but, you know, we're getting there now. So um, I have a good promoter behind me, Mayweather Promotions, and um, maybe the best is yet to come. But... Um, Clarissa, you know, she's she's a good up-and-coming fighter, and she's just got a couple fights under her professional belt now. Um, you never know what the future holds, but, you know, I'm, I'm ready for anything and everything. I know that. Well, you just picked up your 39th win. Uh, is 40, is that anything special to you? Nah, not really. I think 100 would be nice, but I'm running out of time. I, I don't know if you're going to make that. You better get a little more active, right? Yeah, I need, I need more activity. You know, one a year is not going to get there, you know. All right, well, you know, you mentioned Clarissa's getting uh, getting attention. You're getting attention. You're with Mayweather Promotions now. Do you feel like, you know, this late stage of career, I mean, people know you that know boxing, but do you feel that finally maybe you're getting a little more, you know, appreciation for what you've gone through through your career? I'm not sure. Time will tell. You know, uh, this is our first fight with Mayweather Promotions. This was on a good televised uh, network, Fox TV. Uh, so it's good to have the visibility. And I think from here we can just go up and up, you know, maybe Showtime, HBO, get some good coverage and, um, better money. All right, guys, congrats. Uh, enjoy the victory. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. I just want to say one word about my opponent, Sil Sylvia Sabatos. That girl is a tough girl. I mean, she went there with uh, Clarissa Shields, a true middleweight, um, and she got, uh, the referee stopped the fight when she got hit with a good hook, but this girl is tough. She's not going anywhere. You can't take her heart away. Hell of a, hell of a tough girl. If her skills matched her toughness, I mean, she, the world would be in trouble, and I think if she hangs in there, she'll be a great fighter. Well, it's not easy for anyone to get there with you. So, uh, yeah, she was a tough girl, but... Been but three years, you know, yeah. she's been a pro for three years and has half the fights that I have in my almost 20-year career. So, I mean, she's been active, she's fearless. You know, keep going, Sylvia, um, and thank you for the fight.
All right, guys, congrats. Good luck. Thank you.